In our previous videos, we have completed structural analysis of a 10 stories building. In this video, we will prepare structural drawings of our project. Link to download complete Revit model of 10 stories building is attached in the description below. Subscribe our channel for more videos. Open the Revit file of 10 stories project. In this video, we will extract to DCAD views from 3D model using view template. Go to view tab, then click on view template. Now click on manage view templates. Select structural in discipline filter. Select floor structural plans in view type filter. Select structural framing plan, then click on duplicate. Name it structural drawing views. Click OK. Now we will click on Edit Next to VG Overrides Model. We will select Filter as Structural. And make sure everything is visible except mass and parts. Now click on OK. Now click on Edit Next to VG Overrides Import. We do not want to show imported categories. In Final Structural Drawings, we will make sure Discipline is Structural and then click on OK. Our view template is ready. Now we will create some views and then apply the settings to these views. Right click on a view, then duplicate this view with detailing. Now select this view, then click on Edit Type. Click on Duplicate and then name it Structural Framing Plans. Now press OK. We can see that our duplicate plan has moved to Structural Framing Plans folder. We will rename it Column and Foundation Layout Plan. Our first framing plan is ready. Now we will go to View. Then click on Plan Views. Click on Structural Plans. Choose Structural Framing Plans. Now we will choose all the plans and then click OK. We can see all the framing plans have been created in Structural Framing Plans folder. Now we will rename the plans. Name Level 2 as Framing Plan at Elevation 11 feet 6 inches. Rename Level 3 as Framing Plan at Elevation 23 feet. Similarly, we rename all the framing plans. Now let us apply the structural template to the current view. Go to View Templates. Click on Apply Template Properties to Current View. Select Structural Filter. Select Structural Drawing Views Template. And click on Apply Properties. We can see that template settings have been applied on current view. Now we will open other views. We need to apply the template here as well. Select the views we want to apply template view settings. Now click on Apply Template Properties to Current Views. Apply the Structural Drawings view template as we did earlier. We have created framing plans. Now we will apply detailing to our framing plans. Open Column and Foundation Layout Plan. We have created grids, which are passing from the center line of columns. Now we will assign dimension to our grids. Go to Annotate tab, then click on Align Dimension. Now click on all the grids to assign dimensions to them. Now click Outside to finish command. Similarly, we will assign dimension to vertical direction. Dimensions have been assigned to all the grids. Similarly, we have to assign the dimension to the grids on the remaining levels. After assigning dimension to grids, we will assign beam marks to our framing beams. Click on Tag All in Tag Group of Annotation tab. Select Structural Framing Tags and then click on Apply and OK. Revit has applied beam family name on all the beams. If we see the imported framing plan, we had different name for each beam. We will apply tag all on all the beams here again. Now select one of the beam tags, then click on Edit Family. Now we will select Label and then click on Edit Label. We will add mark and remove type name from here. Click OK, then click on Load into the project. We can see Revit has created question marks on all the beams. 
Now click on it and type in the name of the beam, as per imported CAD drawing. Similarly, we will click on the question marks and rename them as per existing frame-in plan. We will finish renaming them, then we will open the framing plan. All the beams have been marked here. We will assign all the beams marks one by one on all the framing plans. Now we will open column and foundation layout plan. We will assign column marks on all the columns. Go to annotate tab, then click on tag all. Then click on structural column tags. Now click on apply and OK. We can see column family name have applied on all the columns. If we go to level one, we can see column mark as C1 should be applied to column. Display column tag here, then select column tag. Now click on edit family. Select label and click on edit label. Insert type mark from the list and remove type name. Click on OK and then click on Load into Project. We will click on question mark and type in the name C1 here. We will see that all the columns of same type will be marked as C1. We will insert name in the remaining columns. Now we will open column and foundation layout plan view. We can see all the columns have been marked. Select everything and then click on filter. Click on check none and then select structural column tags. All the tags have been selected. Now we will move these tags away from columns so that they can be viewed easily. Column marks have been applied to all the columns now. We will draw foundation. We created raft in SAFE in our previous video. Our raft was extended 3.5 feet away from grids. Thickness of our raft was defined as 24 inches. Now we will draw this raft in Revit. Go to Structural tab. Click on Slab in Foundation Group. Select Rectangle in Draw option and put 3 feet 6 inches in Offset. Option. Now click on Intersection of Grid A and 1. Then click on Intersection of Grid P and 12. Our raft has been created. Now click on Edit Type. Click on Duplicate and then rename it 24-inch Thick Raft. Click on Edit Next to Structure. And then change thickness to 24 inches. Now click on Green Check Mark to finish drawing raft. Our raft is ready. Now we will assign tag to our raft. Go to Annotate tab. Click on Tag by Category. Check off Leader. Now click on Raft to assign Raft Tag. Our column and foundation layout plan is ready. Now we will create drawing sheets. Go to Views tab then click on Sheets. Select Available Title Block then press OK. Revit has created a drawing sheet. Now we will drag and drop column and foundation layout plans on the sheet. Column and foundation layout plan drawing is ready now. We will create one more sheet. We will place framing plan at this sheet. We can insert project information and drawing information in the title block. Now we will create a legend about columns. Go to views then click on legend. Name it Column Schedule. Now we will go to Families in Project Browser. Here we will open Structural Columns. Then we will drag and drop the column we used in the project. Now we will apply some annotations and details on our columns.
Our column schedule is ready now. We will place this legend on our column and foundation layout plan. Select this legend and then drag and drop it on the drawing sheet. We can also change the scale of legend. Now we will create a section of our raft. We will double click on a view to start working in that view. Now go to view and then click on section button. Now click on start and end point of section line. We can adjust the section view depth by reducing it. Now click on cycle button to view section marker. Our section has been created. Now we will drag and drop it in our drawing sheet. We will adjust the height of our section to view the raft only. Now we will scale up the section view and adjust it in our drawing sheet. Now we will export this drawing to AutoCAD. Go to File, then Export, and then click on DWG Format. Now click on Next, and then save this file as AutoCAD Drawing. We can see that Revit has created an AutoCAD drawing of the column. And Foundation Layout Plan. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe our channel to view more interesting videos. Thanks for watching.